Well, I think what uh, the indications are this morning is that the next couple of days are going to continue to be all about Russia, Russia, Russia. Whether Russia was involved in hacking, uh, whether they've got background material on Donald Trump or not, uh, it appears that this whole process is doing exactly what the Russians might want, which is to cast doubt on our elections and to cast doubt on Donald Trump. Right. You've seen the tweets from Donald Trump. You've also seen uh, perhaps some of the comments made uh, by spokesmen for Putin suggesting that none of this is true. What do you believe? Well, I think, number one, you don't believe anything that comes from, uh, from Putin. Uh, you, know, you know that the types of things that they've been accused of are the types of things that they do. They get data and information and they try to get as much information on individuals as they can uh, to blackmail, blackmail people. You know that they want to uh, perhaps influence elections and those types of things. Uh, I don't know what they have right. on Donald Trump. I don't believe they've got anything on Donald Trump that's of any significance. Uh, you know, the reports are coming from uh, a source that they're not verified, they're not substantiated, they've not been uh, verified by our intelligence community. So uh, right, right now it's uh, a lot of noise about uh, not a lot of substance. How do you square up um, Donald Trump's sometimes laudatory views of Putin and some of the comments he's made and some of your own views about him? Putin, well, I think a, a couple of things happen. Number one, I think you know, Donald Trump may talk about Vladimir Putin as an individual or as a leader and say that he admires some of the leadership qualities uh, that Putin may have, but not endorsing or agreeing with the policies that Vladimir Putin uh, is engaged in or that the direction that he has Russia moving in. I'm sure that, uh, you know, Donald Trump is very much opposed to what Russia uh, is doing and has done, you know, in, in Europe. Uh, the Middle East and those types of things. I think Donald Trump recognizes uh, the threat that we face from Russia, but I think he's also hopeful that in places like Syria and combating ISIS that we may be able to forge a better relationship uh, with Russia. And if that doesn't work out, guess what? He will be tough on Russia. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.